So next, we've got refraction in shallow water, and you will need a pencil, a rubber, a pen, and a ruler for this one, because uh, you're going to be doing construction lines. Now, where we're going to start is you've got your plane wave coming in here, and you've got this line in the middle showing where which direction the wave is travelling. Now, as the wave enters the shallow water, which is here, it's like it's going to something that's more dense or refract towards the normal. So refract it towards the normal, making sure that it doesn't go completely parallel. So refract towards the normal, and when it comes out the other side, you're wanting to get it lined up so it's parallel again to this initial direction. Okay? So that's where it's coming in. Now, the next ones we're going to do is just follow the edge of the wave. I know these ones aren't exactly lined up. This is best you can. Then I'm going to add the construction lines so that they're parallel to this example one I did. Uh, in fact, if I go that way, I can get it a bit more lined up using the lines on the ruler. lining up with that one coming out and the same for the other side coming in parallel with the middle there so this is where I'm looking to check if it's parallel I know that's a little bit funny with the light but when I did this one I was making sure it's parallel here okay so those are my construction lines now this is where it gets, uh, you've got to be careful. So these, the waves are coming in, they are bending to go in this new direction here. So they were coming in that way and they're going to have to change direction. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this wave here. And I've got to make sure it crosses this at a right angle. So luckily I've got some lines on this ruler here that help me with this and I can make sure that that is um, I know I think the camera's at a slight angle there you go so it is lined up and I'm making sure that that crosses there at 90 degrees here I'll do the same with this one so with this one there so I can see that as it's entered the shallow water, uh, effectively the more dense, the, like it's going into a more dense area, um, the wave fronts are getting closer together. So in this case, the wavelength has changed. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure how many millimetres that is. So that's two millimetres apart. And I'm going to mark every two in here. Like that. And I can do those ones to start with. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark these on. And again, I'm using this marker on the left and making sure that this is lined up. Where is it? In the middle there. And these are my construction lines for the length. Okay, and I just need to put a few more on this side. Two and two and two, right at the edge. So I'm going to flip the ruler that way around so I can line it up better here. just there okay so <clears throat> we've got to this point now in the same way and there is one just starting in the corner now in the same way that these ones we lined up we're now going to start over in this corner 
and make sure we cross it coming out at 90 degrees. So I'm making sure that this angle here to the ruler is 90 degrees. Starting in this corner, there's the first one. Put my second one here. Third one here. And that one's there. Okay, so it's making sure that where these are meeting the edge, they're then crossing at these points at 90 degrees. And I can use the ruler to make sure that this is lined up to get that. Now, this distance here should be the same as that. It's about five millimeters. Perfect. So I'm just going to carry this on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. There. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Five. and that'll do, we'll just do two more. And yeah, making sure they're crossing here at 90 degrees. There's one. There's two. And when you do it, try not to hold the pen too long so you don't get these blotches on it. And there you go, so that is a perfect diagram. I don't see myself for refraction in shallow water. Just be careful though, just remember that I'm going to trace it over that in a pen because I want to keep these lines. When the construction lines get rubbed out, we'll just trace over those. I'll let that dry for a minute. Um, so I'm just going to rub out the lines on the edge here. Look at those construction lines. There we go. So I'm going to smudge a load of biro, but you can be more careful. Um, and I'm not going to rub that out now because the ink won't quite be dry. Uh, you can do a better job at rub rubbing out than I can. Um, get rid of those construction lines and there you have it. Okay.